Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Corpse Party Book of Shadows this is episode 3 and things are gonna start getting serious pretty soon So let's get to it. I think the prologue's over and we're gonna start getting to the game. So Ayumi ready one two And uh, I guess Tadashi is actually going with them if you guys didn't watch the second episode this prologue fucking long as shit all right, Naomi's screaming like a bitch because she's dumb as fuck. As soon as we reached the hallway, I felt my knees hit it with a thud. Gag cough. What's going on? No, 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 no. What was that? A person? It's pitch black, but I swear it was shaped like a person. The school infirmary door hung near me, open near me, and I panicked state. I swear I'd seen a black shadowy figure within it. Oh, that meant kill you, right? That meant kill. I'll kill you. No! Oh, she's running. She's running. Dead. She's running. So we get to play as Naomi. Oh, she threw up. Oh, I remember that. Uh, maybe I'm gonna get that infamous fucking scene where I walk over things, screeches and scares me. My mind has been completely overtaken with fear. What was that? What just happened? That dark, misty entity came towards me and entered my body from every orifice. It came in through my ears, through my mouth. I felt an enormous lump in my throat, blocking the airflow in my lungs and momentarily tear, 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 tearing me up on a brick of unconsciousness. I was almost killed. I felt like cold hands reached into my body and grabbed hold of my life's energy and turning it all internal organs inside out and leaving me for dead. My stomach was churning, the bo my bowels were on fire, and my legs were all twisted around themselves. Can pressure alone disrupt the human body this much? The odor the fl and the flavor of its own gastric juices still gnawing at the back of my throat. I felt like I was going to throw up again, but I held it in. Dead. <laughs> I remember this. This place, these circumstances, I've been here before. I know I have. Yeah, you dumb fuck. You should have listened to Sadashi. You know, Sadashi's there to save your dumb ass. After performing Sachiko Ever After ritual, there was a hellish noise. There was a huge hole appeared in the floor, and there I was, in this school. There was no sign of Sadashi, or Mrs. Shichito, or the class rep, or anyone else. Only Sachiko was still near me, collapsed in the heap of the floor. Psycho. Not Sachiko. Sorry. Psycho. Seiko and I explored the decaying building as best as we could, but there was no way out. Not a single window or outer door could be moved or even broken. Just as our last shreds of hope began to vanish, we suddenly heard Sadoshi's little sister, Yuka, cry out of somewhere just out of sight. Yeah, she needs to go use the bathroom. I sprained my ankle pretty badly and couldn't walk very well, so uh, Seiko went off alone to find her while I rested up in the infirmary. Whoa! Oh, Tara, I remember that. The fucking thing tried to kill me. And that's when the dark shadowy figure showed up again and began attacking. Dun dun dun! Pant pant! I was scared, so scared, so scared, so scared, so very scared. My teeth were chattering, my lips were quivering as if they were mine of their own. Why would she leave me alone like that? Shut the fuck up, you're dumb. I told her that I'd go look for her with Yuka. So why? Why would she leave me behind? Was I going to slow her down? Was I going to get in her way? Oh no, this guy. What happened? Fuck, man. Battery's gonna die. Fuck! It's like, alright, I gotta end it soon. I'll probably end it at 10 minutes. Another 5 minutes. Oh my god, are you alright? I felt so sorry I left you behind. Just seeing Seiko face qualled my shivers. Whenever she's around, I feel at ease, and at that moment, I just wanted to cling to her and cry my eyes out. I should have just done it, but instead... Just leave me alone. Do you have any idea how scared I was? I'm sorry, Naomi. Come on, let's try and find the way out of here together. What was the point? Just forget about it. Leave me, leave it alone. We're never getting out of here. Maybe it was safety, the safety of Seiko's presence that did it, but the fear welling up inside me suddenly turned to anger and it was, I was like a spoiled child. Nothing good can come out of lashing out like this. Seiko didn't do anything wrong, I knew that, but I just couldn't stop myself from saying what I did, what I said. 
She was genuinely concerned about me and I'd sworn to myself that I'd protect her, but my sense of reason was fighting a losing battle. You realize we've gone missing, right? How do you think my mother's going to feel? She's going to be worried sick about me and there's nothing I can do. Naomi, please, don't say things like that. It's going to be alright. Like hell, it's going to be alright. She's going to keep searching until the, uh, the day I finally come home. And she has to work, you know? The whole situation, it's not right. As long as I'm here, I'm nothing but a nuisance to her. I'm a terrible daughter. And we're going to get die here anyway, so all that time she spent looking for me will be wasted. By this time, my mind's going to be completely overtaken. I wasn't myself anymore. I was running on autopilot, horrified by the words coming out of my, from my own mouth. No, I know how this ends. You're wrong. Families aren't like that. It won't be a nuisance. It won't be a burden, and you're not terrible. I don't know how exactly how to say this, but when you're loved by ones are involved, you'll do anything for them. There it was again. Deja vu. Everything was falling into place. I knew that this was going to happen. I knew that Faye had store, had in store, and if we down this road. Okay, so maybe this story is about how they get Seiko back with everyone. So, But I guess I can see where where you're coming from. Your mother is a really kind person. The last thing you don't want to do is to worry her. That's why you need to go make sure that that doesn't happen. Right, Naomi? We need to go back home. I don't know how this is for you and your family, but normal people don't work that way. You're a bitch. No, it's not happening. Seiko's going to get hanged and she's going to die. Yeah, so she dies in the... She's going to die in the bathroom. Do I get to do something? I have to apologize. No. I don't want to. Of all people, to speak to me like that. Please, Naomi. Tell me that's not how you really feel. Seiko. Oh, I get to choose! Oh, oh, oh. Apologize! If you don't say something to calm her down, Seiko will run off. I know that she couldn't, couldn't be by herself right now. So I pulled myself together and tried apologizing to her. But the words... Seiko, I'm... Did she die? The words couldn't come true. Uh, come as soon as I tried to form something, something caught itself in my throat. I found myself unable to breathe and doubled over in a fit. Naomi, are you okay? I'm sorry, Naomi. If I'm bothering you, I'll go. I hate to see you leave your side, but if that's what you want, I won't argue. <laughs> no, she's dead. Wait. Seiko ran off in the distance, her figure growing smaller and darker until it vanished altogether. I knew I'd made an awful, irreversible mistake. That sense of the dread I felt moments before had come back full force. I could sense a malevolence within me, an outside hand that made me lash out at Seiko. It felt like something was in my mouth. I had no idea what it was, but there was definitely something in there. I stuck my finger and tried to dig it out. Blah! Hair. Ugh. My finger caught something and pulled out from my throat. Come large clump of long black hair. That's nasty. That's nasty. That's the burger. That's because you ate McDonald's, right? Just kept pulling. I couldn't believe how much there was in there. Ugh. The strand stretched out of the way out of my stomach through the esophagus and into my hands. And even then, there was still more to pull. The motion was unnatural. It was creating a repulsive, sickening sensation along my tonsils. I felt like I was gonna throw up again. Bleh. Where the hell did this hair come from? What was stuck in my throat? There she goes. She's dead. GG. GG life. It was okay. A faint motion before, but now let's see starting. I was remembering some future event. I didn't know why or how, but I was. it was repeating time. And I'm just not allowed to apologize. I could feel a dark will guiding me. Someone or something wanted Seiko to be killed in this timeline as well. But I wasn't going to let that happen. Not without a fight. 